Becoming a part of the Intercultural Facilitator program my freshman year was really a blessing because it helped me submerge myself um, in interculturalism, which was something I didn't even know about um, until I started at LMU. So by being able to start my first year talking about social justice issues and learning how to navigate these conversations was something that I think has helped me um, challenge myself, critique maybe things I've heard, but also um, learn how to play devil's advocate. And so I think that's helped me grow with my own intelligence and my own um, articulation of different um, social justice issues. My mom is actually an LMU alum, so that makes me a second generation lion. And I feel as if I've been trying to follow in her footsteps, fighting for social justice. When she was here as a student at LMU, she actually helped um, fight for LMU to have more students of color, specifically, specifically students from the Latinx community. And what's actually interesting was she was on um, the, uh, the original Loyal and years ago, um, there's a picture of her fighting for, um, or protesting for, um, LMU to have more Latinx students, and, um, Dr. Sesame actually remembered that, and so they were able to talk about it at my June orientation, and so, um, he was really the one who introduced me to EIS, or the Ethnic and Intercultural Suite, and that's how I've been able to get involved and find a home here at LMU right from the start. CLC is one of my favorite um, groups on campus just because from the start of freshman year I've had the small um, close-knit family with my two moms, my brothers and sisters, and every week we're just able to talk about our highs and lows but also engage in um, our spirituality and our faith in God. And being a psychology major, I think I love being a part of a CLC because I think it's so important to talk about um, our struggles and our triumphs. Well, for me personally, I want to stay at LMU as long as possible. Um, but also our School of Education has, um, or many of the graduates from our School of Education have gone on to do um, amazing things and just my own professors um, from the School of Education for my education minor have been so influential in my decision to do the education minor and to pursue education in general. So I want to be able to continue to learn from these um, educators as well as become um, one of those role models myself because they have impacted me so much and they've made me feel like I am truly um, a student that matters, that I'm, I have the potential and the empowerment to go out and make a difference in our school systems. Diversity Chair puts on different events, um, specific specifically facilitation events um, all around different issues of race, gender, and sexuality. As well as in chapter, I'll put on presentations about um, things such as Black History Month, um, National Mentoring Month. I also talk about different events both on campus as well as off campus um, that deal with different cultures so that girls can get immersed in different um, opportunities around um, maybe cultures that they don't really know. My identity being Mexican and Korean has really um, been a huge part of my time here at LMU. I went to a predominantly white, all-girls Catholic high school in the safest city in America. So um, I, while I did ponder my identity and see how I was um, different than most of my peers, it didn't really occur to me how vital my identity was to the very core of my being until I came to LMU. Although I identified with that uh, culture, I didn't look like your typical uh, Mexican or Latina. And so I have found that my social identity or the way in which people perceive me was different than the way I identified myself. So. I've understood that this is always going to be a struggle for me, but at the end of the day, I have my family and close friends who will support me no matter what, and this will help me on my journey learning more about my identity. 
So a fun fact about me was I was actually interviewed for the Roar parody on the Oscars and um, someone had asked me like what did you think about Meryl Streep winning the Lifetime Achievement Award and I went on for maybe like five minutes about how much I love Meryl Streep even though I'm like I like Meryl Streep she's like an F fan but then across campus students started calling me the Meryl Streep fan like people I didn't even know they're like, wow, you're the you like Meryl Streep a lot, hot. Huh? I was like, no, I was just being interviewed and I didn't know what else to say.